I don't think I've ever done a recording like this, but it feels kind of new and immersive, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna like this. Sup, everybody. My name is Crytek N-Bomb, and welcome back to a Genshin Impact video. Different from others, I'd like to admit, and like talk about, but today's kind of special. Despite the events, I'm gonna be looking back on this a year later. Before we get into anything else going on, let's just get down to the nitty gritty. I am actually gonna hit event rank 58 like as of next week, and I've been playing for a year as of today. March 11th, 2021 is when I started playing this game from patch 1.3. It has been quite a journey. I have documented my entire experience of me playing this game almost every day to a point. And then every week onward, every Monday reset, sometimes I put Fridays to show some progress on my account. And I want to talk about this today because it does kind of suck that I'm not doing this because in the second half of patch 2.5, playing for dev stream. So, I can make a confirmation to summon on this particular game. So it's too I would love to get my hand with Pokemon. But that's beside the point. The whole point and premise of this video is to talk about characters, my inventory, my artifacts. I want to look back on this a year later at March 11th. And I could even give context a little history about everything I have. I've wanted to do this for such a long time because I've seen other people on YouTube do this and I've been documenting this game's playthrough on my account and I continue to play this until the bitter end because there are story quests in this game you essentially cannot experience if you haven't played at a certain point in time. So you will definitely miss out on it if you play at a later time in the game, which sucks. But yeah. I have six five star weapons, which is nice. Uh, the two misplays I have a story for. I got pretty lucky with my summons on that banner. It was one of Yaka first game. But every five star weapon so far has been something I kind of wanted. Uh, I think this weapon came up with Shinha. I wanted this weapon, but I wanted Primal Jade Winged Spear more, but I ended up getting this instead and it actually is pretty nice I keep using it it's kind of cool yeah and this weapon came out in the first run with the broken lightning and now wishing system or whatever yeah I actually wanted this weapon but yeah artifacts don't even mind the low number of the amount I have, it's because I just don't hoard artifacts as much. I would love to talk about the copious amount of artifacts I'm happy to have had, and I think I only have one, I guess, what people call CV, 50 CV artifact, which I think it was this, this one here. My Ganyu that I got recently, that was my most recent Fire Star. The one that I've wanted since I started playing this game, because she was the reason why I got an Genshin Impact. I could have started when she first came out. I could have started in patch 1.0 or 1.2 around that time period. I could have played because there was a point in time that I started to hear about Genshin Impact for history on that, and I've always wanted to play this game, but I never got around to it. I wanted to give it a try. Yeah, this one was a pretty suit. But I'm just like showcasing some of my artifacts, because why not? I do have other ones here and there, some that I wish I could change. Some of them that I don't really care to change. Some of them I haven't been used for a while, like these two dollar pieces. <laughs> and I've been farming this inward domain for God knows how long. I have some that are pretty decent, some that are pretty good. and I wish I could not care in certain instances, but some people would be like, bruh, I wish I could have had this right here. I get it, I get it. It's, it is what it is. I'm not going to complain much, but I am happy with this. 
and this will probably my best piece I got. In my opinion, even though this one is this one right in. But I'm showcasing these all because I look back on these in the future. And it is nice to see the change in my account over time. Because I do like, which in my case is different from other people, when it comes to being able to save for a character that you want. I've always done that in this game. I've always saved up for a character that I wanted and I got them. But I never summoned for as much characters as I feel like I could have. It took me a while before I started to C6 some characters. My first C6 character was Noel back when I first got my Jean Lee. That was back in the beginning of me playing this game. Since I played it in point three of the world. The whole time period. Brutal just released. It was a good old grand old time, but it makes me sad I never summoned on her banner because I did not know how important summoning was on the limited character banner at the time. So I summoned mostly on the standard banner and I got pretty lucky on them. I got D Luke and Mona. Mona was my first five star. D Luke was my close second because he ended up as my second ever five star within like 20 pulls of me first getting Mona on the standard banner. And ever since I've been having a grand old time. Took me a while, but to get my account to where it is, I'm okay with what I have, and I'm happy with what I have. Like, for the most part, in terms of what I have, I do look forward to the future of this game, and of course, my artifact distribution is going to change in the future, but I think we're getting close to the end of all the artifacts I have. That much fodder. But yeah, I've been playing this game every day. I don't stream it every day, I stream every Monday reset, I call it reset vibes, and okay, check, and I'll just play every Monday to show my progress on my account, look at the characters, I have damn near almost every proportion on the game, I'm just missing an Indian girl, because I didn't decide to get the rest, I didn't summon on Ito's banner, because I got him on my free to play account, yeah, but, the context of the 5 stars I have, I am quite happy with who I have. I don't know what to think of him because I don't know. I have all of the, of course, they have their join party at a certain time period. So Jane, I've gotten on the standard banner, but not two constellations of her. I got D Luke on the standard banner. I got Chi Chi on the standard banner. It took me a long time to get a Chi Chi. I was one of the people that actually wanted her, but I could not get her for losing a 50 50. As of recording this, I have lost and won two 50 50 back to back from the characters I went for. Mona, I got on the standard banner. I still want to get touching on this account. I got Venti off of 50 50. It was my first character off a limited time banner actually I never got clean I tried for child on his new run that just kind of felt miserable I got uh, Jean Lee on the 50 50 right after the venti banner so that's great on that one. I skipped out a bit of rerun I got going on a guarantee of course of January of this year 2022 I had to skip Shao, I might get him in the future. I skipped to Tao, I'm guaranteed to go for her, because I love her. Rosaria, I've used her for such a long time. If I talk about Forza, it's a grand old time. Raiden, she's a character I wanted just because I'm going for Archons, I'm really going to do that. I hate looking at this guy, because as much as I hate to admit, I sometimes wonder if I regret not getting him when I had the guaranteed after losing 50-50 over him. And I could have constellation so Bennett when he first came out, he's a good character. I skipped Ayaka because I went for her weapon. I don't like Yula's place though. So I still want to know why people play her. <laughs> but it's understandable. I want Yoimiya. I actually want Kokomi. Which Maybe I'll summon for her at the recent of this time period. Shanghai I skipped, but now I kind of want her because I think I can find a way to use her. And that's all good. 
Sucrose. I tried her. It's so iffy to say the least. I love her design. Tongue in. I tried to use him, I just couldn't. Well, I was going to use her, but then I stopped. Bennett. He's alright. He's always going for his support. Official, I'm never going to build her. I feel bad saying that, but I'm never going to. Same with Ningguang. I hate Catalyst characters, but to some extent, I still like using Mona, so I can't say I hate all characters. Shincho finally got him C6. It took me so long to get the character C6. I don't understand. It was mostly because I skipped so many bands that had these good four stars on them. I have a C6 Fatal now. Got Shaoling C6 finally. Razor was fun, but I look back on it. I wish I could have used them more, and the only time I feel like I would have used them is if I never got Doom. And. Uh, there's a lot of context probably, but food for thought. Let's check out the constellations of said characters. Yeah, if you're looking at this, I'm not a traveler main, but these aren't even the best stats I can get on him. These are the best stats I can get on him, which is dope, but yeah. But in all seriousness, this is the ratio I use nowadays because I change my Zhongli build. But, I got Miss Splitter, Big Forest, I got two of them, I got very lucky with that. Artifacts, that I'm currently running is whatever. Yeah, all that goodness. I think I showed everything, right? Yeah. But yeah. I don't main Traveler, but I like this team when I do the Immo Server Free Domain. <laughs> if you like Geo Traveler, you'll, you'll know why. But Mona, I finally started crowning characters recently. This is the build I use for her nowadays, because it's codex, stats, all that goodness. I would like to show all these off all the time, but I don't think I'm gonna try to do this for every character. I'll do it for my favorite ones. And Traveler is a character I like, and I always feel like he's gonna be more important in the future, but who knows when that will be. C05 Sirens. I think, yeah, all Z0 except for, yeah, of course, a lot of force are there. Finally, C6, I have a C2G. I lost 50-50 twice with her. I think can even understand it. Great. And then, other couple of force that could have been more important. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay, C6 Beto. C5, that. C3 of her, and I have her banner back next to her shit. Yeah, I have a C2 Barbara, and I'm AR57, it's freaking hilarious. Let's see if we're seeing it. And for her favorite characters that I want to show their artifacts of, I guess, this is a decent build of Zombie. I can hit oh, at least a little over 100k with them pretty easily. But these are the artifacts I'm running, I'm trying to really do a little bit of HP, a little bit of damage crit rate, it could be better, I can definitely make this a lot better, so I'm surprised how good these stats are, this climbing club is not bad. I think one of my best characters optimized is my Ganyu? One of my best characters is between Ganyu, Red, and Shogun for characters I didn't merely farm for, but, I mean, Raiden I farmed for a lot, but Ganyu... Let me not even get into this. Let's, let's talk about this. I've had so many Wonders Troop pieces that were really good stats, but I never raised them. And some of them I had to get from the uh, Artifact Exchange. But, beside the point, I had so many of these good feathers, one of them ended up having this with the CPU. But, I've been always wondering which one would be better, because I could go with this one or stats are better. But, yeah, those stats are kind of nice. I just love how strong she is. I even... I hate wanting to talk about this one here. I've had three different crowd damage bonus ones. I even managed to get a crit rate and crit damage piece from this set when I was doing the artifact exchange, but it just didn't go really well, so... I managed to get one good the third time around, but it's only a single crit damage stat, but it is good. 
this piece is nice. And all that goodness. This is our stats with my feather on. This is like the best stats I could really muster. Yeah. Right in. Everyone's been always having a misconception with her, but I do agree with a lot of people's arguments. Builder, I got better stats for this, for that. Kuna Matata, yeah. I have Wavebreaker's Finn. I love using it because it gives me the most damage. I thought I'd have energy problems at 244 energy, but my performance has been about the same with this build. This is probably the best build I could come up with outside of the other build I have that I could do, which I thought did more damage, but it does a little less in some situations. It's probably because of this energy each other is goblin. But this is really the build I use. This is kind of the build I run when I'm using the catch. As you can see, my energy recharge is really high. You won't be able to see how much left of damage going she has, but it's usually like a little over 100. I think it was like 150. With this amount of energy recharge. This build was good and all, but when people start to explain the attack problem, yeah, I changed her build and I feel a lot more comfortable with the attack one. My energy's nice. But I don't feel any difference in her build when I hit a certain point. I don't know why, but the energy I get back while I use her feels about the same with this other build, which is the best one I could muster. But yeah. I could do this build with an attack goblin, which would be funny. I didn't think about trying this one. I tried this one, but for some reason it feels awkward to use this. But it is funny, in my opinion. It is nice. It's a nice, like, counterbalance with high as and features. D-Loop, I've used them for the longest during early game, but I'm gonna just quickly scroll through these artifacts. Got Pyron set. I do this goblin. I ran it with EM. All that good stuff. Venti, his build has changed drastically I'm preparing to hopefully get my hands on Kazuo this one. And this is what he's currently running. This is going to be my Kazuo artifacts. So yeah. Goodness. I like my Shincho build, but I don't know if I'm going to really show too much more of these. Because yeah, there's not really much to show. It's just showing what my builds are. They're pretty decent. I use the catch on Shaolin nowadays. This is like such a good build for her. It's actually stupid. It's the most fun one. I'm pretty strong too, huh? but it's hard for me to like get better stats than I'm hoping for with Shaolin. But this is what I can muster with a little bit of EM. Nice. Just food for thought. I've never topped up in this game, but I'm not free to play it at all. But I have paid, like I think. Currently, I'm definitely over 150. I'm probably like somewhere in the 200s of how much I've paid into this game. Just by buying Welkin every month. And I started buying Battle Pass again so I can buy my Surface Mine. So that's about as much of the Battle Pass I'm going to do because there's not really much to be said on it. But I am doing nice on summers. I have enough for a guaranteed 90 summers. As I am a probably like a single pull from a five star on my inner type thing. Man. Yeah. With that being said, I would record more to show other things, but we're currently in Inazuma, a region that first starting out never existed. Everything started in leeway and everything. A lot of things have changed. The region has expanded a bit and this is such a nice thing to look back on, and I hope that in the future, I can look back on this and be like, Hey, look at this! Because next patch we're going to get the Chasm, and then we're going to expand the Sumu, and I can't wait for that region. I can't wait to go to Fontaine, I can't wait to go to Natlin. I don't know how much we're going to get between this year and the next time I do this and talk about it. But I hope I can get the chance to, because I do enjoy playing this game. Not for just the subtle expansion of me hoping to get some good artifacts, some characters that can change my account. But I enjoy playing. And I merely play this game. I don't even play this game for meta. I literally play this game my own way. People are free to do what they want, and that's how they should play it. I always ask this question, but I always want to know 
what do you do in this game for fun? I always think that's important to mention. This is my free to play account for here. <laughs> Even though maybe a year later the sign up will change, I just felt like showing this guy got Alfredo and Ito, and I'm so happy with this account. But they have five stars I don't have on my main account, and it triggers me sometimes. Like, I got this weapon, my first five star on the standard banner. I got this on accident. I don't even want to talk about this freaking Jake, but I didn't think I'd get this. I didn't actually get it. In. I got this from the standard banner. And I got this from the standard banner. And I got two of these. I got really lucky on this account with summons. Very interesting how many five stars I got early pity. Not even at 30, most of them around 10. Almost every time. Even got two five stars in three single coin face that I owned at the time. Anyways, I have guaranteed pity on this account, so I am gonna go for a Yato on this account, which will be funny. As you can see, there's a character is gonna be released, but I'm not getting it me. This, this is my main account. I've been enjoying this game for such a long time. Achievements or whatever, it doesn't really matter. I got 473. And I, yeah. My birthday passed last week, which is just funny to me. Uh, I wish I could have played this game sooner sometimes. I don't know whether I should regret it or not, because the experience of my summon session may have well been different. Who knows what could have happened, right? But this account, you know this in the future, is different than what I could have had if I had played sooner. I'm not too sure. But, ugh. Anyways. I think this is how I'm just going to end it here, because I just really want to show the expansion of this account. That was all I really wanted to do. But outside of that, the only thing left I could talk about is that I've been 36 starting the Abyss since I uh, first got Ganyu. And it's been a blast. She's my favorite female character in this game. And I only have three or four that I really like, like Mona, Kuching, and Yomiya. Not a lot of female characters that I really like. Some of them I like for very different reasons, like Rosaria, I find her fun feel for her all that goodness but i'm gonna be honest i'm grateful for some of the stuff i have and i've been able to place a study of this before i started crowning so now that i started doing it i'm starting to crown it is my first crown and this is my second ever crown on uh mona here and i plan to crown more so yeah on that note Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope to have another good year of Genshin. And to look back on this again in a different region. Here we go again. <laughs>